हरि ओम तत्सत वेलकम टू स्वामी ज्योतिर्मयानंद सोसाइटी अर जर्नी टू सेल्फ रियलाइजेशन प्लीज सब्सक्राइब फॉर द मिस्टिकल मीनिंग्स एंड टू एंजॉय डेली सत्संग वी आर करेंटली एक्सप्लोरिंग द स्क्रिप्चर भगवद गीता कॉमेंट्री इज बाय माय गुरुजी स्वामी ज्योतिर्मयानंद जी महाराज नरेटेड बाय माय सेल्फ स्वामी निखिलानंद सो टुडे वी विल बी फर्दरिंग आर डिस्कशन from chapter 2 and we will be starting shloka number 65 where lord krishna continues to guide arjuna on the characteristics of a self realized sage prasade sarva dukhanam hani rasyo pajayate prasanna chetaso hayashu buddhi पर्यवतिष्ठते इन दैट पीस ऑफ माइंड ऑल सोरोज आर टर्मिनेटेड बिकॉज द इंटेलेक्ट ऑफ द ब्लिसफुल सेज बिकम्स एस्टैब्लिश्ड इन ब्रह्मन एंड वेन यू आर इन दैट स्टेट यू एक्सपीरियंस टोटल ट्रैंक्विलिटी एंड पीस एंड यू आर टोटली डिसकनेक्टेड फ्रॉम द डिस्कॉर्डेंट स्टेट of restlessness agitation and desire for sense objects etc moving on to shloka 66 nasti buddhir yuktya na cha yuktasya bhavana na cha bhavayatah shantir shantam tasya kutah sukham the lord further explains there is no intuitive intellect for one who is not united with the higher self nor is meditation possible in the unsteady mind to the unmeditative there is no peace how can there be happiness for one who is without peace thus bhagavad gita insists upon having tranquility and peace of mind without that we are as if poor even though financially we may be having a lot of resources if our mind is agitated and turbulent that is not a healthy state moving on to the next shloka indriyanam hi charatam yan mano anuvidhiyate तदस्य हरति प्रज्ञाम वायुर्नावामिवांभसी हियर गॉड सेज जस्ट एज द विंड कैरीज अ बोट ऑफ इट्स कोर्स ऑन द वॉटर्स सो एन इंडिविजुअल माइंड इज लेड अवे फ्रॉम द इनफाइनाइट विजन व्हेन इट सकम्स टू द वॉंडरिंग सेंसेस therefore he reminds us that the senses are very turbulent like in a storm a small boat is um shifted off its route it is taken into a different direction much in the same way uh, and many boats collapse also much in the same way we due to our sense desires we get pulled by them and then we succumb to them shloka number 68 tasma dyasya mahabaho nigrahitani sarvashah indriyani indriyarthe bhyastasya pragya pratishthita therefore o mighty armed arjuna one whose senses are completely restrained from the sense objects his intuitive wisdom is firmly established thus this is a journey of a lifetime this cannot be accomplished very quickly as you can imagine it takes time effort and consistent practice regular meditation regularly doing your devotional japa etc then it starts to become more of a second nature you get used to the process and it takes um, love and effort to get to that state 
मूविंग ऑन टू द नेक्स्ट श्लोक यानिशाभूतागृति संयमी यस्याम जागृति भूतानी सानिशा पश्य तो मुने दिस मीन्स दैट विच इज नाइट टू ऑल बींग्स इन दैट द सेल्फ कंट्रोल्ड पर्सन वेक्स बट दैट वे आर ऑल बींग्स आर अवेक इज नाइट फॉर द सेज हु हैज रियलाइज द सेल्फ इन अदर वर्ड्स द सेज इज गोइंग totally diametrically opposite to the world what is night to him means when he is established in his bliss while everybody is agitated the sage is as if full of bliss and sleep and that is the meaning of the shloka and uh, then lord continues apurya manam achala pratishtham समुद्रमाप प्रवेशमा प्रवेशति सशाति न काम कामी लॉर्ड फर्दर एक्सप्लेन्स जस्ट एज वॉटर्स फ्रॉम डिफरेंट रिवर्स एंटर द ओशन फ्रॉम ऑल डायरेक्शन एंड येट द ओशन रिमेन्स इमूवेबल इन द सेम वे he in whom all desires enter from without affecting him he alone attains peace but he is not but he who is the not the one who desires sense objects so basically one who is free from the agitation like the ocean getting all the rivers all the water that comes into him and yet it maintains its um maryada they say or its um, boundaries moving on to shloka number um, 71 vihay kamanya sarvana pumman charati nisprha nirmamo nirahankarah sa shantim madigachati having abandoned all desires he who moves without the feeling of mindness without egoism and without cravings attains the supreme peace of self realization so in this case lord means the worldly desires we cannot abandon all desires desires that are holy spiritual um that take this desire to wake up early and do our meditation those are really aspirations so those desires are healthy they increase our sattva and are welcome but here lord krishna is talking about the desires that drag us down into the world lustful desires desires of greed passion um more and more money through ethical and unethical means gambling all those kind of things that take us into addictions etc that's what lord krishna here is talking about finally the last shloka of this chapter esha brahmi sthiti partha nainam prapya vimuyati sthitatva syamant kale api brahm nirvana mrichati o arjuna such is the state of self realization having attained it a yogi is never deluded it is a permanent state it is irreversible like a river merging into the ocean it becomes the ocean to know brahman is to become brahman that is the essential teaching so being established in this state even at the last moment of death he attains the absolute state of liberation this is the deep um, essence of this chapter that we have all enjoyed together sankhya yoga so let us join our hands and complete this chapter om tat sadati shrimad gita su upanishad su brahma vidyayam yoga shastre shri krishna arjun samvade sankhyo yogo nama dvitiya adhyaya sampurnam 
ग्लोरी टू लॉर्ड कृष्णा भगवान कृष्ण की जय ओम तत्सर दस इन द उपनिषद ऑफ द भगवद गीता द नॉलेज ऑफ सुप्रीम ब्राह्मण द स्क्रिप्चर ऑफ योगा द डायलॉग बिटवीन श्री कृष्ण एंड अर्जुना एंड्स द सेकेंड चैप्टर एंड टाइटल्ड द योगा ऑफ इंटेग्रल नॉलेज सो विद दिस वी कंक्लूड अवर सत्संग for today and tomorrow we will be starting chapter number 3 karma yoga this is swami nikhilanand hari om tat sat